experience with going on the pill or any other form of contraception briefly i say as i'm going on like a 10 minute story time about it honestly i there's nothing like it it was amazing would you expect a guy to offer to pay on a first date i just can't even believe i'm saying that very bizarre guys welcome back to my channel i haven't filmed a video like this in quite a while actually just a sit down a chatty video i know we've had a lot of vlogs and stuff recently but i really want to start doing more like chatty i want to say all oh, right okay i want to say like advice videos kind of advice videos i always just seem to find that you guys like it when i'm real with you and when i talk and like open up about things um so i thought well i want to incorporate that in my channel a bit more um do some like girl talk boy talk videos um i've currently got a cup of tea i'm literally in my blanket like on my bed and i just wanted to do a really sort of like cozy chatty video i feel like we're quite bright um i do have like a lamp in the back there but you can't really see i might fiddle around with that in a minute today i have like a girl talk type of video with everything that's going on in the world right now um it's a little bit crazy things are a little bit mad i hope everyone is just staying safe trying to stay healthy i feel like during this time youtube is such a great way to like escape from everything that's going on so i hope this video provides a little bit of escape for you um enjoy me rambling basically <laughs> no i asked on instagram if you guys had any like topics or even any like personal problems and obviously it will be completely anonymous um for me to talk about i'd love to answer like personal problems but also general topics as well if that's what you guys want to see so i'm gonna get that up in a second i'm gonna try not to ramble too much because i'm literally like the queen of rambling especially because i haven't done one of these videos in a while i feel like a ramble is due but i'm really gonna try and keep it under control grab a hot drink cold drink your beverage of choice um how cute is this mug by the way this is from asda so yeah i thought we could just chill chat if anyone can think of a name for these types of videos then please let me know i didn't know whether i could do like a face mask and chill chat sort of thing or like tea and chat but then i feel like that's kind of just like a normal sit down video anyway i don't know i don't know what i'm going to call this it'll probably just end up being called girl talk or something but if you can think of a cool name dina's dilemmas mm. <laughs> okay i'm gonna have a look at what you guys have sent i hope you're all good i hope you're all well anyway right i'm gonna try i actually got quite a lot so thank you for like opening up to me and sort of like trusting me to answer these things i'm just gonna go straight in with the first sort of topic and it is experience with going on the pill or any other form of contraception um and i feel like this is something that i actually have a bit of knowledge about um because right story time i know i said i wasn't gonna ramble so when i was i think 15 or 16 um i got put on a pill called dinette by the dermatologist because i had my skin was pretty bad at the time it wasn't bad enough to go on reactine um which i think is called which is like the strongest form i think of medication for acne but it was a very strong pill that um they wanted to try me on because i tried like antibiotics and creams and everything and it just didn't work so i got put on this pill um and eventually after going through the stages of like it adjusting to my system blah 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 this is when i was in year 11 um eventually it cleared up my skin and i think it took like a year maybe a year and my skin was clear like for Pretty much all throughout my school life i struggled with spots um and then to finally have clear skin was like honestly i there's nothing like it it was amazing um and then when i was in was it my second year of college yeah i think it was the second year of college towards summertime i was still on dinette i was on the same pill as i said it's a very strong pill um so i basically swapped i went to the doctors and swapped because i wanted to still keep my skin good um and i swapped to another pill called geradel i believe um and that again i'd had no issues swapping over to that pill it was absolutely fine kept my skin super clear like all good things were happening from it um and i was on that until the summer of first year 
so to the summer of 2018 I came off my pill I had been on it for however many years and I wanted to know what my body was like without being on without having hormones in my body because I didn't know if that was affecting me glad I did it and also not glad I did it at all um, and obviously this is so different for everyone so just take my experience as my experience um, I'm not saying that this could happen to you um, but as I came off the pill I found that it had really negative side effects and I know that it's supposed to be the other way around it's supposed to be when you go on the pill you're supposed to have these negative side effects and that wasn't the case i got so low um it was like around november time of second year and it's a really really hard time i think the transition from first year to second year and i was really really low and i just remember feeling so i don't know it's so sad i remember feeling so low i felt like my weight started to fluctuate but i kind of feel like that was maybe partly in my head as well um i just want to say quick that the next bit gets quite tmi i really wanted to include it and talk about it because i feel like a lot of you will either be able to relate yeah it's just to help some of you guys out know that if this is happening to you like you're not alone and also just i think it'd be helpful to share my experience so apologies for being tmi but I think it will be helpful for some of you. Um, and then I basically didn't have a period for a whole year. Um, and during my whole of second year, I didn't have a single period. And at the time, the months passed me by and I knew that it would take a while for my body to get like back on track and I kind of didn't realize how long I was going not having a period. I'm sharing this because I feel like either some of you can relate and or it can help some of you um <clears throat> definitely go and get checked earlier than i did luckily it was nothing serious um so then when i went home for the summer went to the doctor had blood tests have whatever and i was pretty worried at this point because it i did think okay what if there is something wrong with me and so my blood tests came back a bit funny um i know this isn't the right technical term but i'm just trying to like quickly briefly br briefly i say as i'm going on like a 10 minute story time about it yeah it came up a bit funny so that's when i started to worry um anyway turns out i think a week after i had my blood test i had a period tracked back so i use an app called clue to track my periods turns out i think it's like august the 5th i know i'm being very precise an exact year since my last period an exact year very bizarre went back to the doctors and explained and she was like this is a good sign we're still going to get you to go in for some tests but this is a very good sign just keep an eye on it so since then i had i've had regular periods every month um and my body basically just took a whole year to get back to where no to sort itself out basically and i went in october i went for tests i had to have an external and internal test to see if i had something like polycystic ovaries just to make sure everything was fine down there turns out everything is absolutely fine um which i was so um grateful for and it could have been anything it could have been like because like what i do is quite stressful and maybe when i went home my body was fully relaxed and sometimes it's that isn't it like stress can um cause like delayed periods and whatever or it literally just took a whole year for my body to sort itself out and now yeah i'm back having regular periods and that is that so that is my experience with it i feel like it's quite an odd one because a lot of people experience negative side effects when they're on the pill but luckily i never actually from what i know i never actually experienced that um and obviously i keep you updated for future um but yes that is my experience with that <laughs> okay moving on boundaries when your boyfriend has a girl best friend this is something i struggle with okay this is really tricky because i think being being girl i mean I'm sure boys do it as well but like you do you start overthinking and you think like what if and what if they're in this situation or what if that um personally i have some boy best friends and i just would never see them in that way um and it all kind of depends on factors as well so like your boyfriend like uh i don't know if your boyfriend and his 
girl best friend have been like family friends and grew up together or even like they've met at school and they were best friends I can see that and I think as a girlfriend I think the main things to like be aware of is that your boyfriend feels comfortable talking about her around you um feels comfortable with you guys hanging out so say like if you guys hang out together or like in a group of friends really important to suss out how she is with you you know if she's being a bit off with you then you could probably ask your boyfriend is everything all right um obviously it's tricky because you don't want to you don't want that your boyfriend to think that you think like you don't want it to come across as you being like over paranoid and I completely understand that. I just think you have to trust your boyfriend as well. I always think that if someone is gonna do something and like hurt you or any, literally anything, cheat on, cheat on you or whatever, you, you that is not in your control. You just have to put the trust in that person that they're not gonna do that. And if they do that, then you find out and then you deal with it. But I think it's really like a waste of time, a waste of energy and waste of headspace if you worry about something before it's happened or before you've got any inkling. If you get an inkling of something's a bit funny then you know like we have gut feelings and whatever and I feel that if your boyfriend you know he'd probably be willing to listen to you. If you say like I know she's your best friend but you know from a girl's perspective perspective like think of it the other way around think if I had a boy best friend like I just want to make sure that like there's never been anything there between you two and it strictly is friendship I feel like that's completely understandable to say um I just think and also if you haven't spent a lot of time with her it's probably harder as well because you don't know what she's like so I'd say probably make an effort to spend time with like with them and say if you have like a group of friends to go out with and she's probably really lovely and she's probably really happy if you two are happy then she's going to be happy if he's her best friend then she just wants to see him happy so try and get the like negative thoughts out of your head and like it's really really easy to start overthinking it um and just make sure that you know when they're together it's not weird and you don't get the sense of like they're being too touchy or whatever because if anything like that happens then you you have you have the right as his girlfriend to say, oh, I, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Do you know what I mean? And just be, just talk to him about it. I definitely think that's a big thing to just be upfront and communicate instead of like shying things away. But then I also think if it's something you know that it is a bit silly, maybe just think, you know what? My boyfriend loves me. He's with me. That like, he's her best friend and that is it. Um, try not overcomplicate the situation. I love my boyfriend, but I'm, I miss and have feelings for my ex-boyfriend, what should I do? And then from the same person it says, how do you go about breaking up with someone in a nice way? <sighs> okay, this is such a hard situation to be in because you're saying you love your boyfriend, but if you still have feelings for someone else, it's probably not the right idea to still be with that person. Um, I say if you still have feelings for someone, you need to take the time to take the time for yourself to really work that out in your head. And I feel like if someone else's emotions are involved, that's gonna get really messy. Um, considering you said, how do you go about breaking up with someone in a nice way? I, I guess you must be thinking about breaking up with your boyfriend. Um, and it's tricky, I never think there's a nice way to break up with someone, it's it's a horrible thing. But I'd say just sit him down um, and just, just completely speak your mind. I feel like someone would appreciate it more if you don't beat it around the bush and you just say, look, this is the situation, um, I, I love you and I think you're great, but right now I feel like I need to be on my own. You need this time, this is for you, and sometimes you do have to be selfish and hopefully they'll understand that. I'm currently feeling this way, I definitely say you just need to get out of that relationship and have some time on your own with your friends and family and just have clear your head and get things straight. I hope that helps. I feel like I haven't really done like an advice video before, so I really hope that helps. Hmm, how to deal with slash accept facial and body hair. Okay, this is this is an interesting one. I just think, personally, what I like to do, I do have, if you guys have watched my videos for a long time, you'll know that I have like a little buzzy tool, which just like buzzes off my um, upper lip hair. Purely my personal preference, that is what I do. But I used to be so 
insecure of my arm hair as you guys can see i've got dark hair and the hair on my body is very dark and i've got thick long my arm hairs are long um arm hair and bless my little arms i used to be so i think someone made a comment when i was at primary school and you know like when that happens it just like it does mess you up like people just shouldn't <laughs> for one um basically and i kept shaving my arms like in school and it just was such a hassle like to shave like your and i know people still do it now and obviously like each to their own but for me personally it was such a hassle and like it was all like i don't know so i just got to the point one day and i'm just gonna get them up to look at them now and i don't know what the point was but i just thought I just left it and I just thought, do you know what? Because I even was looking into like laser hair removal for my arms and everything because I hated it so much. And I just thought, do you know what? Like, it's arm hair. It's literally hair on my arms and it is a part of me. And I, I don't know what was the turning point, but I just stopped doing it. And I was like, who cares? It's just is hair on my body and i also think if you don't like your hair then you can get rid of it it's you either sort of like put up and deal with it and just accept it's a natural thing do you know what i mean it's like my arm hair is natural and like there's nothing wrong with it and i think it just sort of came to the point for me where i was like do you know what there is nothing wrong with that like it's just a bit of hair and it's just quite thick um, and I know it's really hard in your head and like leg hair and stuff and it's so much effort to try and um, maintain and body hair. But I just think if, if you don't like it, then feel like you have all the tools and there's so much stuff out there now to get rid of it. Um, and if not, just embrace it. Everyone's born with hair, it's completely natural. Embrace the hair, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say to you. I always think as well, like who was, I was talking to someone about this, your insecurities like, I don't know, or like my hairy arms, probably no one's looking at them, but you, because you're insecure, you think it's like, before I had my lips done, I was so insecure all the time that people were looking at my lips thinking that they were really small. And I just think like, I look back on my videos and I think no one was looking, like I'm so happy now with them and I love them. Um, but like, I was, I was looking back on my videos and I probably, and I was thinking like, no one thought that. No one was looking at, do you know what I mean? No one is looking at your insecurities. You're just seeing them through a complete like, m m no, m Magnoscope, that's not right, is it? Magnifying glass. That. <laughs> Would you expect a guy to offer to pay on a first date? Um, no. I think it's nice. I think it's lovely. Um, and I think it's like, ah, oh, you know, that's really, really kind of you. But I would always, always offer to pet, to go halves. Always. Um, I never like the thought of someone paying for me. Um, it's always nice if someone says, oh, I want to take you out um, for a meal, but then still, I still offer to pay. Um, so no, I wouldn't expect it. It's just very nice if it happens. Um, and it does make you, my camera turned off then and I'm not sure where it turned off. So apologies if that one cut off. I hope I finished what I was talking about. The next one is, I never see my boyfriend and we live 10 minutes from each other. We are so busy, please help that is so hard um i think i think there's always a sort of like if you live closer like 10 minutes well, that's just like down the road i kind of feel like you're expected to see each other more but then do remember that like a lot of really a lot of couples don't live so close and like don't have that um so don't feel the pressure and having feeling like you have to see them all the time you're saying you're so busy i can relate to this because i'm also so busy um but it is if you want the relationship to work and i feel like you want you want it to work because you said like you want help you just have to find the time um maybe even say like at the beginning or like on a sunday night say hey like um or when you're on the phone say oh i'm free here and here just really really try and don't don't see it as like oh i've got to see him then because that's the only time I'm free. If you want 
your relationship to work, you do both have to put in time. And I know from experience, like time is so important in a relationship and both of you have to be making an effort to have that time together. Um, so definitely, definitely talk, definitely work out, or even like one night every week where you're both definitely free. Um, or even a day like even Saturday Sunday like just really really try and make that time because if you don't have that time I find that that is what breaks a relationship but yeah just communicate talk work out when's best even if it's just for a short amount of time okay we'll just meet for a quick I don't know go out for food quick even if you can't see each other for long or go for a quick coffee like it's little is better than nothing at all um, and I also think that if you're both so busy when you do see each other try not try to sort of clear everything before you see each other in a way like try not to have things to do whilst you're together because then that won't that will kind of ruin like the quality time if that makes sense um yeah just talk communicate and appreciate the time you spend together even if it's not a lot have you ever had mental health issues and how did you deal with it whilst training um i briefly mentioned this obviously at the beginning of the video when i was saying about like my experience with the pill and stuff um, yeah, I have, and it's really, really, really tough. Whilst I was in this, like, dark point, I don't know, I feel like if you guys want me to do, like, obviously, you know, I'm close to graduating, and I don't know what's going to go on with, like, Agent Showcase and everything like that, it's really scary for, like, us at the minute, um, because we don't know what's happening. How did I get onto, oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, if you want me to do, like, a roundup of my training uh, i don't know i feel like scared doing one of those videos because i just don't know what will come out um but yeah if you want me to do like a roundup of my three years maybe i just can't even believe i'm saying that right i might just sit back because am i too far away okay sorry i just need something to lean on the second um yeah if you guys want me to do like a roundup of my training please let me know i feel like that's been quite requested but yeah show me my mental health in my second year like November it was tough and it's what's really tough is like what I was struggling with is that I had these voices in my head that were just telling me I wasn't good enough and I was like below everyone else it was just awful and I basically went and saw the counsellor at college um Bird actually have a counsellor and have that um, help system which I think is amazing and it honestly helped me so so much I just was able to get everything off my chest I was able to speak and she gave me some like things to do and like just spoke to me and sort of helped me see things more clearly um, and it really really helped me mentally um, and that was sort of around like November time and then come December, December's like my favourite month anyway, you guys know this, my birthday and Christmas and stuff like that. And I remember being so scared because I was like, no, this is my favourite time of year, I can't feel low. Um, and I, I, I did slightly um, around my birthday and I remember just being like, oh, I really wish I was feeling like on top of the world. Um, but you know, that's just like life. And then I went home for Christmas that was all the therapy I needed honestly I had two and a bit weeks at home and I came back in January feeling like a different person my mind was so clear um, my head was back in the game <laughs> um, I realized that these voices in my head had so much control and it's just learning to like control that um, if you want me to go more in depth, I don't know how I can do, but yeah, that's basically my experiences. And obviously, it's, it's tricky in this industry and in training, it's really, really hard to have, you don't have good days every day, and sometimes things just like mess you up, and I think it's really important. And I think people are opening up more to talk about mental health in this industry, because it's a tricky one, it's a really, really tricky one. Um, and sometimes you just have really shit days and other times you have amazing days um, so yeah it completely depends but that was probably the low point for me and I think I've just sort of worked out now how not to ever get back to that place so yeah that is my experiences before I ramble on anymore I really want to try and answer all of these but if you guys want to see another one please let me know
Oh, bless you. Okay, proactive steps to get over an ex. It's been almost a year and I still think about him daily. I've tried blocking, etc., but still search up how to curl out. Oh, girl. Girl, girl, girl. I'm sorry. This is so hard. Um, so hard and it's so easy to get consumed like into it social media is a bitch because it's so <laughs> no I that that was very dramatic I love social media but in this situation is where it can be really tricky I know you said blocking each other and you can probably go on another account and search them up and what and stuff and that is so dangerous to your mental health try and challenge yourself and see see okay I'm gonna go two days without looking and then I'm gonna go three days and more and more and more it will just become regular and you just won't do it anymore and um, also I think I'm trying to think you said you asked for proactive steps so I'm trying to think of proactive steps so maybe even set some goals for yourself I know this is quite like a weird a weird way of like sort of getting over someone advice but I don't know if you sort of like set goals for yourself and like just make up make a plan of like okay right I ha this is it now I have to stop I have to stop I need to get over this so from from this day forward I'm gonna set myself some goals to definitely not look at social media but not even that, it, within your own life, okay, I want to achieve this, I want to do this, and set yourself little, like, little goals within the goals of how you're going to reach the big goals, if that makes sense. Now, like, you don't have someone else in your life. Become the best version of you. God, I hope that helped. I don't know if that was really bad advice. Yeah, hopefully that helped. I don't know what or how much I filmed there um, and I'm sorry I didn't get through all of them also I feel like I've been talking for so long I don't want you guys to get bored of this long rambly video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and please let me know um, if you did enjoy it and I'll definitely be sure to do more of these videos yeah the tea is quite cold now so I've been talking for a while uh, let me know if you want any more of these videos oh this jumper is vintage by the way um, I'm sorry I won't be able to link that down below. Please subscribe if you are not already. I'd love to get to 30k sometime soon. I hit 29k a few days ago and I'd love to hit 30k soon. I didn't get that. I did. I said I wanted to hit 30k soon, Siri. Please. <laughs> if you want to keep updated with me, I try and keep you guys updated on Instagram. So that is just underscore Dina May. Also, I can't even believe I'm about to say this. Follow me on TikTok. I just love it. I think I'm just Adina May on there. Or I might even be underscore Adina May, but I love TikTok, guys. There's something about it, honestly. So yeah, all my socials will be linked down below. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all staying safe, st staying healthy um in this really bizarre time without me rambling anymore just end the video Luna. okay please please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye